Welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection. I'm your host, Eben, and well, today we're here with a special friend, and this is Ed. Ed's been in the Corvette Club for years, and we're back with this gorgeous C6. Now, this is a 2012, I think, right? Yes. 2012 LS3, and this is the Grand Sport. And well, we're going to kick it off right now. We're using our AMSOIL Signature Series 5W30, 100% synthetic, so he's going to be good for the whole year. Well, Let's kick off the AMS oil engine flush. All right, the very first step is the engine flush is going in. Go ahead, Ed. You got the honors of pouring in this thin detergent. Very, very thin. And what this does is this goes in the motor and uh, you put the whole bottle in and you do this the first time you switch over to AMS oil. You don't have to do an engine flush, but what it does, it gets all the carbon deposits around the rings out. Really, really helps getting oil coking out of turbo ports supercharger, cooler ports, anything where it has a lot of those little crevices, timing chain area, it's gonna basically break up all those years of burnt on material. There's areas in the engine that get very hot and they don't get a lot of oil flow to cool it. So in those little areas, it kind of burns and thickens. So we're gonna be wiping all that crap out of there. It's gonna come out, it's gonna go into the oil filter and the oil pan, and this thing's gonna become a new engine. Let's do it. Count of three, one, two, three. All right, that's all we do is let her idle for 15 minutes. I'll let you hear what she sounds like. Here, take a listen. If you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. All you do is just tap the button right here and then you'll see the notification bell, tap that. And Ed's popping the safety seal on the bottle of PI cleaner. And this is a proprietary detergent fuel additive. Cleans the valves, fuel injectors. Go ahead and put it in, Ed, You're good to go. And you just put this in every 4,000 miles and you kind of hear that little a gulp, a gulp, a gulp going in. And that's it, it's just, just like a snap of the fingers. And uh, you'll see quite a bit of a gas mileage improvement this is good for all gasoline motors. Uh, it's not for E85, but uh, you'll definitely notice a big difference in uh, compression when you clean those uh, valves and you uh, get all the carbon deposits around your combustion chamber. You'll have less pinging and knocking, especially in this uh, summer heat out here. All right, we got our 15 mil socket. All we do is crack or loose. So the oil should be about 195 right now super super hot and it's a little bit of a weird angle uh -huh. all right we're good easy as pie when you got the right tool got our little teeny hand wrench just gonna loosen her up gotta do her by finger and she is hot and she's gonna flow like you wouldn't believe. On the count of three, a one, a two, and a three. And, oh, she's a long one. There she blows. Woo! She's hot, oh boy, she is hot. So now we're gonna let her drain down. And while she's draining, we can even crack our uh, oil filter. So I'm gonna grab the oil filter wrench and we'll crack her loose. We're gonna go ahead and grab her here. She's a little bit of a stickler. All right, there she is. This one's gonna be like a little half turn. Oh, and I wanted to thank uh, a subscriber. He said, hey, even you can always drain the oil filters, get a little punch. And I think this filter's so thin, I think it already punched it. It's gonna leak just with the wrench. <laughs> But yeah, next time I gotta try that. I gotta put a, put a little punch on it. So there we go, nice and loosey-goosey. Now you let her drain a little. You always wanna use a little towel and it comes out quick. And you just let her drain for a minute. And then the filter just threads right off. And then uh, we're gonna make sure the old silicone gasket came with it. And then it'll be time to prep our new filter. All right, time to prep our oil filter. We got our EA 15K filter. This is good for 15,000 miles. 
filters at 99% efficiency at 20 microns. So uh, quite a bit of an upgrade over the OEM. So I'm gonna pop her out of her package. Got a nice fresh seal, super nice. Go ahead and just pop her out, boom. And now we got the really nice grippy coating to it. So it grabs and then there it is, 15 thou. And it shows all your specs. So we're gonna go ahead and lube her up. Now I wanted to show you this filter. So he's holding the filter here. Let me hold this for a sec. And I wanna show you the AC Delco filter. So this is your standard AC Delco. So I wanted to show you the difference of the anti-drain back valve. This is the AC Delco, this is the AMS oil. This anti-drain back valve holds up a lot better over the course of the year so it doesn't deform, doesn't let the oil flow back out. So in the next cold start, boom, the oil circulates right away. Also, the medium is synthetic in this. It holds four times more contaminants than cellulose paper filters. So it'll hold up a lot longer. And then the threads are a lot bigger. So you'll see the thickness of the threads on here and then the thin threads on this, there's not as many threads. So these just hold up better and they hold up to a rock better too. So the actual outside of this cartridge is thicker where this isn't quite as thick. So this can penetrate pretty easy and actually leak. And when we put the, the gripper on it, it kind of, you know, penetrated a little bit. So it is an upgrade, it is different. And uh, it's actually something you can feel. When I first switched over on my Corvette, which I'll put the video up here in the corner. When I first went over, I used a Fram filter. I didn't know anything about filters. I used the worst filter possible, worse than this. And uh, on my next oil change, I think an oil change or two later on Amsoil, it was in the beginning, I was afraid to do it. I did it at 5,000 miles instead of, you know, you can go 10, 15,000, no problem on this. But um, I was really scared and I did it at 5,000. And uh, I said, you know, I'm gonna try the Amsoil filter. And honest to God, this actually, you can feel a difference with the Amsoil filter. It flows faster, starts up better, and uh, just a way better filter. So that's that. And now we're gonna prep our filter. We'll give the honors of the liquid gold to Ed. Ed's gonna crack her loose, and Ed's gonna come up close and pour it in. Go ahead and pour in the liquid gold. Beautiful. Ah, stretch it up a little, a little higher. It's okay if you miss, go higher, higher, higher. Beautiful. Even if it gets messy, it's good until it, yep, perfect, that's good. So now we're gonna go ahead and let her bubble a little bit. And uh, we're gonna get her nice and wet. Go ahead and wet her up, get our threads good, so she slips on like butter, hit our rubbers, and now she'll thread on like butter. And if it ain't messy, it ain't fun. And if it ain't fun, it ain't messy. And that's why I always tell people, the wetter the better. Ah, all right. Slap her on. All right, the liquid gold has been passed to Ed. Here we go. Ed's putting in the uh, Amsoil Signature Series. Good for one year, 25,000 miles, or 700 idling hours, whichever comes first. I know the first time I heard that, I thought it sounded crazy, but it's, uh, it's real. We've done a lot of videos on it. We just did one on Sean's Dodge Challenger. We did 25,000 miles and uh, 17 months. So that's the first quart. We got uh, six and a half quarts going in. We'll check our dipstick and well, we'll be back. All right, it's that time to feel her up. We're gonna be doing a crazy tall pour. Let's see, we're not gonna hit the hood like on my car. I, I let the oil go all the way down the hood, and it was terrible. All right, let's bring her up. Keep your eye on the target. Gives you a little butterflies. <laughs> All right. It's good. If you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. All you do is just tap the button right here, and then you'll see the notification bell. Tap that, and that way you'll be notified when we post a new video later. And remember, every last Saturday of the month, we have Eben's giveaway. To be entered, all you do is leave a comment within the first 30 minutes of this video. Ed's like a kid on Christmas. He's got his whole <laughs> box of upper cylinder. So what this is, this goes in every full tank of gas and it's a proprietary upper cylinder lubricant. And in the, in the comments section below or the description section, a little reverse down arrow, uh, you can click on that if you're on a smartphone, if you're on a desktop, laptop, you'll see show more right there in the corner. 
and uh, you can check out on the website how this compares to the other upper cylinder lubricants on the market. Pretty cool to check out. So we're gonna stick it in. I'll hold this head, I got it. And we'll go ahead and we'll put her in. So we're gonna put the upper cylinder in, same thing in the gas tank. Ed's gonna pop it, boom. And uh, we're gonna be throwing in this bottle. Now this does a couple things. You can stick it in right away, Ed. You'll see the little safety tab on the top. Sometimes they're a little tough to get that seal off. You have to wiggle it a little bit. Yeah, just give it a wiggle and a pull. And uh, so basically this lubricates your rings, your valves. Um, there you go. It's a, it's a tough one. This is a, it's a gag. That's what we're doing on him. We're <laughs> testing Ed. We got to put him, make sure he's psychologically ready. <laughs> Go ahead, take it in. So that little teeny bottle treats 25 gallons. And uh, it also has like an ethanol additive to keep it from separating the moisture. And then you don't corrode the fuel system. So that's it. We'll pull her out and we'll go ahead and motor her up. We're going to hear what she sounds like. So just chuck that bottle in. Doesn't matter. I'll take it. Got it. And we'll start her up. Here we go. This is going to be awesome. The very first start. Go for it. The very first time. There's nothing like the first time. So here's what she sounds like after. Come in. All right, let's go rip around the block. Going around the block, we're gonna get Ed's, uh, Ed's opinion. In a C6, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The C6 convertible is great. So we put a whole mile and a half, a whole mile and a half. What does it feel like, Ed? It feels awesome. This is great. So wow. what, what would you... Oh, let's watch this guy, yeah. We're good. Watch this one too. Yeah, you're good. You got it. So what would you say the primary difference is? Uh, I can definitely tell the difference on the smoothness of the ride and uh, wow. just hearing the motor roar a little bit more cleaner. Wow. Yeah, really good. Awesome. Very, very happy. So Thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah, happy to it. So would you say it surprised you? Did, did it, like, you know, it was... Yeah, it sounds oh nice. Oh my God. That is beautiful. That sounds good. So, yeah. So would you say it really surprised you a little, or what, what would you give it? Well, like, so people, people say oil's better, and in the beginning, I didn't believe it when I tried, but then when I tried on my Corvette, I I, I was just blown away. So well, it's I'll like- i tell you what, I think that uh, I'm sold. I'm wow. sold, this is it. Wow. I can definitely tell the difference, and wow. hey, and it's oil, you got a customer for life. Awesome. All right, we'll be awesome. back. Thanks everyone. Check out this video in the middle on my Corvette, my oil analysis. Check out this playlist here. Thanks, Ed. We'll see ya. Yeah. Be the best. Thank yeah. you.